Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is John J. Gaming on the mic here, man. We are coming to you live for the opening night for season three. We are taking on defending the NBA champions and the Golden State Warriors. We got a new look squad for us as well, and I can't wait to get into this thing, man. So if you're excited about this episode of Cincinnati Rose, when we begin season three, make sure you smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new as well. As that helps the channel out a lot as well as Blake Griffin. We go to the paint with him. He can't get the first bucket to go, but he does pick up his own rebound. So we're going to try to run our offense a little bit. Get it to Michael Porter Jr. who tries to get the free to go, but that's no good. Warriors going to go ahead. Trying to go the other way with it. Andrew Wiggins going to get found though by Josh Green. The green bean machine going to send Andrew Wiggins to the line, but he does miss his second free vote as well so we're going the other way Tyrese Halliburton pulling up bang and that's the first points of season three a three pointer from Tyrese Halliburton the third year pro from Iowa State as we try to go into the paint with Ron Valabiti he's in his second year in the NBA he won rookie of the year last year but he's gonna have a test this time around and Dana Sykes the center for his Golden State Warriors. He's in his rookie year. He came from overseas as well. He's going to be a test for Ron Valabiti for sure. But as of right now, it's 5-3 to three right now. We're going in the paint with Valabiti. And we get a foul on Dan Sykes. Valabiti with his first points of the season. And he does get the and one to go as well. So we do go ahead. We take the lead on the Golden State Warriors. But how long will that last though as he somehow misses the first shot. Dan Sykes gets the rebound but misses the putback though. As Blake Griffin going to Michael Porter Jr. catching a body though. Clay Thompson. He wasn't ready. No. He was certainly not ready for that whatsoever. Catching some bodies out here man. And Cincinnati also going the other way. Valabiti. Taking it to the corner. Josh Green. Oh, I thought he was going to make that. He's usually automatic if he has that kind of space to work with. But he misses. It's a bucket the other way. BJ Cole getting the, the score. He's also a custom recruit as well. As we try to get it to Blake Griffin. He had a mid-ranger danger. But not a good shooter, man. Not going to be very great for spacing. Um, so... We miss that one, and Michael Porter Jr. gets called for the foul the other way. And we'll see if uh, Andrew Wiggins can go ahead and make both of those free throws or not. And it does look like that he is going to make both those free throws. So 9-8, to eight, almost made it a lead for us. So we get blocked, and now we got to run it back out. Can somebody get open for us? MPJ, I'm looking at you. He's got some space to work with, and he gets it to go. Bang! Three-pointer for MPJ. And it's now 11-9. Warriors going the other way with it, though, as Sykes going to try to take it into the paint. And Andrew Wiggins actually going to take the shot. That's no good, though. Here comes Cincinnati. Get it out of the way, young fella. He gets the green lights. And another bucket for Ron Valabiti. He's such a great rim-running athletic center. I love having this kid on my team for sure. As Valabiti already with his fifth rebound. As Jerry and Grant, he is a new signee. He takes the court for the first time for the Royals. An emphatic jam to get his first bucket of this game. As we now have a 15-11 lead here. Andrew Wiggins trying to get loose with it, but... Even though we missed Dan Sykes, he's trying to fight for it for Valabiti. He fights for it more. What phenomenal defense. We got to turn this into a bucket. And who else? Ron Valabiti again. Another bucket. Nobody accounting for him. And nobody had a chance to guard him. And so now 17 to 11 here. BJ Cole trying to take it in. But Valabiti's there, though. He's like all state. He got good hands, too. Getting a sure handed rebound. Going to take it out. Going to try to pass the ball around a little bit. Although Valabiti, he's got one-on-one. -on -one. No help for BJ. No problem for Valabiti. Get off him. What a baby. And so now Cincinnati opening things up. We got a 19-11 game here. Exciting first quarter. As both teams, you know, playing pretty well on offense. We're going to get ready to open things up here a little bit. 
Here comes Stevenson getting the battle BD again. He time gets the little fillet layup to go. He already has double digit points. 11 points for the second year center. So now 21 to 13 here. Stevenson moving the ball around a little bit. Going to try to pass it out. Stevenson going to try to dive in. But he gets ripped from behind though. So here comes the Warriors. Going to get the bucket the other way. So now 22 to 15 thanks to that steal. And Jaleel Okafor now is in the game. He's going to be backing some folks down too. Trying to get his own post game working. But not this time around though. They're going the other way with it. Kali Stein with a slam the other way though. Defense could not get back in time. It's now just a five point game here. S Stevenson. He's going to try to get it in for an acrobatic layup as well, but can't get that one to fall. So the Warriors can make this a one-score game. Let's we'll see if they can do just that. As Jordan Poole actually going to try and take it to the teeth of the defense, but gets the layup to go. Stevenson, even with the clamps, couldn't stop that shot. You hate to see it. And it is just a one-score game once again. Got to get the second-team offense going here, but it doesn't help when we turn the ball over. Easy transition bucket for B.J. Cole, the custom prospect. And we go into the end of the first quarter with some momentum for the Golden State Warriors. It's only a one-point game. So let's see if we can play a little bit better in the second quarter compared to what happened you know, towards the end of the first. And it starts off the same way, except we initially force a miss, but they somehow get the turnover on us. I'm not even sure exactly what happened, but... Golden State, they have the lead back once again. And it's a one-point game. About to be four. Oh, Clay Thompson. He usually doesn't miss that open of a shot. As we go into the paint, get it to Henrik Stevenson. He gets his first bucket as a Cincinnati Royal. He's a um he's actually somebody that we acquired via trade over in the offseason. He's getting some playing time early in this game. As there's Sykes again going to get the board over Tony Bradley. A se original season one player. At least that we got in season one trade. Is now a, still a one point game. Going to get to Tony Bradley. He should have went for the dunk. He got happy feet though. So now we got to see if we can get a, a same quality of a look as we did last time out. As Michael Porter Jr. takes it in. Clay Thompson called for the foul. And we also... Get the and one as well here as Stephen Curry pulling up. No good though. Cincinnati going the other way with it. Good trying to get it in. Valabiti playing it down. Never bucket for the second year center. Yo, love to see it. Just no match for Dana Sykes. As now we take it into the paint once again. He's got a small body on him. But they're starting the double team, leaving Green open. Green Bean Machine. Seven point game for Cincinnati. And let's see if the Warriors have some kind of response now. We'll see what they got going as Clay Thompson. Going to try to lay it up on Josh Green. That's no good though. Cincinnati going on the fast break. Pulling up. No, oh, no, thought about it though. Let's see if we can move the ball around a little bit. Halliburton. Looks like they might be double teaming him pretty soon. Especially after taking Steph Curry to the cleaners. Good lord. So nine points for you know Tyrese Halliburton. He's having a pretty good game himself. It's not just Valbiti. And a seven point game turns it into just five. Is now just trying to get the win off the tip. Last minute before the end of the second quarter. Is Malik Beasley trying to move the ball around a little bit. Gets a Jerry and Grant in the post. Going to try to pull up on him. He gets the post move to go. It's almost a double digit lead. Got to finish this quarter strong though. Can't be like that first quarter that we experienced. As Andrew Wiggins tries to do the mid-ranger fadeaway. But that ain't going to work though. As they try to go into the paint. But it's intercepted by BJ Cole. Andrew Wiggins taking it to the teeth of the defense. And gets a foul on Ron. Valabidi as well. That's his first foul of this game. Andrew Wiggins does end up making both of his free throws. Going to the halftime locker room, man. We're doing pretty good, though. We have a lead in, you know, you know, against the defending NBA champions. 
So that's good to see. So we got a 51 to 44 game going into the half. Stephen Curry, he's pulling up. That's good to go. Josh Green, he's moving the ball around. Going to get the three up. And it is no good. But we had another second chance bucket. I think that was Blake Griffin. But still a six-point game, though. Stephen Curry trying to be some chef in the kitchen. As Chef Curry with the shot, though, going to actually pass the ball around. Get to the corner where Clay Thompson is trying to back down. Josh Green leaves too much space. We are very fortunate that he missed that. But Sykes gets the rebound. And Tyrese Halliburton, he has to foul. And the center makes one of two free throws. But still, seven-point game now. Chef Curry trying to take it into the teeth of the defense. Doesn't like what he sees, though. As they move the ball around, they are a very you know, selfless basketball team, man. That's why it's so hard to beat the Warriors. As Sykes again with the rejection. Another rejection by Mavoe. Three rejections. Four rejections. Four blocks on the same possession by Valabiti. We going the other way and getting a slam dunk the other way. you love to see it the Warriors gotta go and take a time out so 57 48 here man and now here we go Valabiti going the other way with it he's got the takeover badge on but can't get the layup to go though they're still gonna go to Valabiti in the post not a lot of help they're trying to double team though Halliburton trying to take it up for the layup he's fouled by Clay Thompson though that's his second foul of the game and, uh, Halliburton, he does make both free throws. So here he is, 13 points and four boards. Valabiti feeling himself, though, going to try to take it off the teeth of the defense. Probably should have just passed that around, but he was feeling himself a little bit, though, but gets stripped from behind. Josh Green, overway. Valabiti, good. 15 points for Valabiti. And now we go ahead and give him a little bit of rest now. He's been putting in some work here in that second half. So we cut in about 5.40 left in this third quarter. Andrew Wiggins deciding what he wants to do. Going to try to lay it up on Michael Porter Jr. Not a good possession by Andrew Wiggins, the former number one overall pick. Originally picked by the Cleveland Cavaliers as they get the free up. That's good. Tyrese Halliburton getting that one to go as well. He's starting to really come alive here on the offensive side of the end. Also able to look for his own shot, so I like to see that for sure as the Warriors go ahead turn around get in another free as it's a five point game now Malik Beasley trying to get the ball into the cup trying to drive somewhere but can't get anything going going to try and get it to Jerry and Grant he can't even get anything going Malik Beasley though that's no good Warriors going the other way they have a chance to make this a one score game here comes Jeff Curry gonna step back Blash three point game and here we go 67 64 chef curry with another layup but that's no good though here comes the royals going to the henrik stevenson he lays it in the young swedish player only 23 years old gonna be 69 64 nice love seeing that 69 on the board as they go the other way with it missing on the alley-oop Cincinnati, can they get another bucket here? In transition, trying to get it to the paint. It's Derek Jones Jr., the high flying small forward. And he's extend this thing to a five point lead now. Because now, here we go. Gill going to try to take it into Tifa defense, backing down Derek Jones Jr. as Stevenson went for Chef Curry. And it's no good. You know, you got if you're going to go for a steal on Chef Curry, you better get it because he will make you pay for it. And it's show right there making Stevenson look silly as we go the other way. Malik Beasley laying it down as well. The emphatic slam once again. We go into the third quarter of play. We are giving everything that this defending NBA champions can handle. We'll see if we can close them out in what has been insane opening night here to start season three so let's go man fourth quarter underway and how burden he actually got the takeover badge going so he tried to feel himself a little bit a little bit of a heat check but 
maybe not the smartest idea in the world is Halliburton pulling up green bang right in the face of chef curry you'll love to see it nba basketball in its finest as now is 91 84 in favor of the royals we do turn the ball over once again as chef curry takes it the other way another bucket for the davidson products it's a seven point game michael porter jr trying to make it double digits but can't get the three pointer to fall as now the Warriors look to inch closer. Valobidi trying to guard Chef Curry, but they were looking for that switch all along. Sykes on Halliburton. That's an easy dump for the Warriors easily, man. As they go to P.J. Cole out in the wing. Misses a wide open free, though. No wonder Valobidi decided to go ahead and trying to double team instead. Not really respecting B.J. Cole's jumper, and he's even called for the foul on the other end as well. Now we got a four point game. Howell Burden going to get it to Valabiti. He's stuffed though. And so here we go. A chance to make this a two point game. Andrew Wiggins throwing it down. And it's getting very tight here, folks. Four minutes left. This thing's all knotted up at 100 apiece. This is where your star is supposed to step up. And ours aren't quite doing that just yet. This is a tied game at 100 apiece. Jeff Curry looking for something to work with. Gets it out to BJ Cole in the corner. Huge possession for both teams now. They get it to BJ Cole. He catches Blake Griffin slipping though. And the Warriors have the lead again with three and a half minutes left. We do get a bucket to respond, but still 102 apiece as Stephen Curry gets blocked. Here comes Josh Green. He is a great three point shooter. But he also has some hops as well. I love this kid. I can't believe he was only a second round pick in our first ever NBA draft. As Josh Green pulling up. Halliburton. Nice. Green Bean Machine. Four point game. And when it gets close like this, put it in the hands of your best player. And they will with Chef Curry, who somehow misses that one. Here comes the Royals taking it to Halliburton in the corner. Bang! That could very well be the dagger. Just got to play our usual brand of basketball. Here is Josh Green. He gets another wide open three. He misses again from the corner. Now it's just recently having the takeover badge as well. So still a five point game. They get out to BJ Cole who takes advantage of Blake Griffin. And now it's down to three points. As Tyrese Halliburton, he having a heck of a day. 33 points, trying the heat check. No. Probably not the smartest idea given the game situation. And now the Warriors can tie this thing. Steph Curry knows that's going in, man. You cannot leave Steph Curry open whatsoever. It's not, not just not a smart idea. It's not winning basketball. Leaving Steph and Curry open on the three-point line. As now they go to the corner. Josh Green again. Another three-pointer that doesn't go in. And now all of a sudden the Warriors... They have an opportunity to take the lead here with less than one minute left. BJ Cole somehow getting that one to go. And now a two-point game. Warriors are on a 9 to nothing run here. As we try to go the other way, Tyrese Halliburton looking to tie. And he's going to end up getting fouled by Chef Curry once again. Halliburton with a day. Again, his 34th and 35th points potentially. Got to make these free throws, though. Halliburton on the first one actually misses. So we no longer have the opportunity to tie this thing up. But we can still make the second free throw. We don't have to freak out just yet. So let's go. Let's make the second free throw, man. I believe in you. The third year product with his 34th point. He does get the second one to go at the very least. And now a one point game. We just got to go ahead. Let's just play some defense. That's all we got to do as Chef Curry going out on the three-point line. He's double teamed. He gets it out to Sykes, and he gets... No, it rims out. Here comes the Royals. 33 seconds left. Malik Beasley, bang! Two-point lead for Malik Beasley. And just 30 seconds left in the ball game. Let's play some defense, fellas. And sadly... That's going to be too much space, though, for Chef Curry. Tyrese, what are you thinking? 
you got to be a little bit more aware than that. And now the Warriors, they have a lead now. One point game as Tyrese Halliburton just takes advantage of the wide open lane. They were expecting a free. We're just going to go ahead and cut it inside now. And it's back to a Cincinnati lead now. 17 seconds left on the clock. Chef Curry, though, he got the takeover badge. Can he get the stop? No, it's an alley-oop. It's Sykes with the potentially the game-winning bucket. And now we got a score here. 10 seconds left. Let's go. Malik Porter Jr. Somehow manages to get it in. Trying to back it out. Going to try to bring it back in. Going to try to lay it up. He's fouled. It's a foul on Andrew Wiggins. Michael Porter Jr. with two free throws to potentially give us the lead here with less than four seconds left in the game. It's getting pretty intense in the building. Can Michael Porter Jr. make the first one? Yes, he does. So we got the tie. Let's see if we can get the, the lead. He can give us the lead here with less than four seconds left. If he makes his second free throw here, and it's a green bean at the perfect time. Let's go. Let's play some defense. Chef Curry with the buzzer beater from half court. It's no good. And what an intense finish here, man. The Cincinnati Royals pull it out and win it by a final score of 116 or 117 to 116. Let's go ahead and check out the stats for our guys, though. So checking out the stats for our guys, and usually Ron Balabidi is a dude that gets a ton of attention for us, and like, and you know, good reason why. 22 points, 18 rebounds, and five assists on top of six blocks as well. That is absolutely hard to ignore. But Tyrese Halliburton, it was his day today. The third year fro putting himself in a position to really break out. 36 points, four rebounds, and nine assists. On top of that, you absolutely love to see it. Michael Porter Jr. and Josh Green also putting in their work as well. Doing a nice job of secondary scoring options. As for Stephen Curry, though, Stephen Curry, he was cooking in the kitchen. He was 27 and 10, shooting 5 for 9 from deep. Some Stephen Curry-like numbers, but he had help as well. Andrew Wiggins came in with 16. Dane Sykes, who also made his NBA debut, the 31st overall pick, he had 15 points and 21 rebounds today on top of three blocks on top of that. Clay Thompson also had 14 points. BJ Cole Jr., the second year pro, he comes in and has 14 points, six rebounds, and also had four assists, four steals, two blocks. He did a little bit of everything, which is really cool to see. Jordan Poole also came in with 11, and then Keith Gill had a 9-6 kind of game. So these Cincinnati Royals, man, they get off to a very good start to begin season three. We actually go 6-2 to begin the season, and that does include good win against the Chicago Bulls, who were competing for an NBA championship last season. Tyrese Halliburton, he led the way with 27 as well as 21 points from Michael Porter Jr. A 21 point win as well from the Milwaukee Bucks. And that was where Jeremy Grant took over and had himself a day. He had 25, you know, as a starter with Michael Porter with 24. Although we did take a couple of tough losses as well. We lose to the Miami Heat 78 to 118. And, you know, that was just a night where it seemed like we had a tough time, you know, getting much going on offense. You know, same thing with Cleveland. You know, hopefully uh, we don't have any guys hurt, so we'll check that out real quick. So nobody is hurt, thankfully, but um, what we did do was we sent Timothy Rowan down to the G League to give him an opportunity to develop a little bit. You know, he's not ready for NBA action just yet, which is perfectly fine. We got a couple of years to mold him a little bit. You know, he's a capable point guard, man. He has a great three-point shot, and... You know, has ability to be a playmaker off the bench for us. You know, we just got to develop the rest of his skills. You know, you know, smooth out the edges, as they say. And he could be a good NBA player for us going forward. So that is going to do it for today's episode of the Cincinnati Royals here on NBA 2K21. Next time out, what we're going to do is play against the Detroit Pistons. 
who remember back in the offseason what we actually did was trade away our 20th overall pick in order to get Blake Griffin and that 20th overall pick turned into Edwin Kemp who's having a solid season the uh, 22 year old rookie from Kentucky averaging nine a game and then they also have a promising rookie as well as Silkender Sai who's from India the sixth overall pick off to a little bit of a slow start but we'll take a look at the custom recruit as well so it's gonna be a good one man so make sure you smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you do have to be brand new to the channel and why would you see as well this is John J gaming on Mike hoping you guys are all out there having a wonderful day take care everybody